In order to register for the website, we must navigate to our login page. So let's go ahead and click that login button. On our login page, instructions will be populated for you. To register for the website, we're now going to look for that member registration button. The next page that we are taken to is our member validation page. Instructions will also be populated here for you as well and include the fact that members must enter their member number, first name, and last name exactly as they appear on their account statement in order to validate their account for the website. If the member requires further instruction, they can go ahead and click here, and this will open up a detailed PDF of the registration and login process. And if we scroll right to the bottom, it will also assist them with how to reset their password. As mentioned, this is where the member will validate the information in order to create their account for the website. So we would start off by entering our member number. And note, as mentioned, that the information entered here must match exactly as what we have on our account statement. So for example, if my name is Joshua and I try and put Josh, my account will not be validated for me. I must enter Joshua. So we go ahead and add in our name. And once the fields have been filled out, the member can go ahead and click the validate button. Then as long as all the information entered is valid, the member will then be taken to the registration page. The registration page is where a member will come in to create their username and password, as well as select their email address for the website. This email address will be used for correspondence from the website, including booking notifications and password reset emails. When your members hover over each field, they will be given an explanation, including the requirements. The username must be at least three characters. Examples can include the member's first initial and last name, or member number if they like. For the password, the standard is six characters with at least one letter and one number, but this will vary. The password must be entered twice to ensure that it has been entered as intended. The email field will show one of the following. Your member may have an email dropdown, which will list one or maybe three emails that the member has in the backend system, allowing the member to choose which email they would like to use to receive the correspondence from the website. If the member does not have an email address in the backend system, they will see an empty field just like we see for our password and username. The member can now go ahead and enter an email address here, and that email address will automatically be added to the backend system. Once all the fields have been entered, the member can go ahead and click Create User. After a member has successfully registered for the website, the member will also receive an email notification confirming that they have successfully registered for the website which will include their username as well as a greeting customized by the club.